Good afternoon traders, this is Tony D from the Easy Markets Dealing Room in Sydney. Uh, just having an update today, the final update of the week. Uh, so the overflow from yesterday with the announcement uh, that China is sending a delegation to the US from the Communist Ministry has led to a very risk on uh, trading environment overnight. You did see uh, the Dow Jones up over 300 points and continuing higher. Uh, at the current moment, it's at uh, 25.6. Remember that uh, we did get up to around about 26 um, back in the recovery uh, after the uh, the initial sell-off uh, that we did get the correction anyway. Uh, so this is by uh, I believe the second week of of Jan. So let's have a little look here inside the dates. Uh, so we're looking at the uh, sorry the February uh, the recovery got to 26 uh, and then if you're looking at uh, the actual highs of the year 26.7 those are those are sort of the targets on the top side if things could go well next week at these meetings now rumors are that the meetings are going to be earlier than previously anticipated so late August but not really uh, before the tariffs come on that is still up in the air though so don't uh, don't trade that as 100% um, but talk is uh, they're going to have meetings before the tariffs. Uh, perhaps those meetings will continue afterwards as well. Uh, tariffs are expected to come on Thursday next week. So we'll see exactly if they can work something out before then. Otherwise, uh, that would put a little bit of a damp on the mood. Uh, but at the moment, the market is still uh, pricing in that things are going to get better and things are going to do well there. And you are seeing uh, a lot of risk assets on. Now, the dollar scene H had a big correction um, all the way back down from 6.96 uh, uh, to 6.86. It has a little bit uh, of, a, of a bounce today. Nothing crazy just yet. Uh, keep an eye on it, though, because this is very important for the other pair in play on the news, which is gold. So gold is... Um, had a big reversal after New Year lows uh, on this news, and the China yuan has been uh, a major driver of the gold weakness. And so, if they got if the Chinese yuan has put a top in, then the potentially for the bottom being put in the gold is there. And so, we're looking for uh, the Chinese yuan to perhaps break the downtrend in general, which on the four hour you can see uh, is still an upward slope here. So, previous lows 6.8, and then gold could be on the way back up towards that 1200 level, and that's the the sort of correlations there. In terms of the other big pair that does move with gold, uh, it should surprise no one, uh, and, and China news, it should surprise no one that the Aussie dollar is doing quite well yesterday, regardless of the uh, the weakness in the jobs uh, numbers, we do see a pretty, a pretty good uh, sort of reversal, and so far holding on the dip, so a big part of the market going higher uh, is that we do start to have low, uh, higher lows. And that is really what we're seeing here. Next thing that has to happen today is have to make a new high. All right, so retesting, say the 73, 73.10 breakdown levels from earlier in the month uh, could be a, a next step in terms of getting uh, this market in reversing. And so uh, that would be the next little zone of resistance as well. Uh, support, once you break, it does become resistance on the top side. Uh, so we keep an eye on this, but if we start to see a couple more uh, green candles, a couple more uh, bullish candles here, uh, we'll go a long way towards improving sentiment, and uh, the Aussie dollar does have the ability to grind higher in, in situations where uh, there is a chance of, of good success, and especially from low levels, uh, this these situation for the Australian dollar has improved notably. Now, RBA Governor uh, Lowe was speaking this morning towards Parliament, and he was uh, relatively upbeat, uh, opening... Uh, saying that, uh, we're well, reiterating that next move from the RBA is likely to be higher. Uh, only chances of cuts are if there's a massive Chinese uh, slowdown, uh, crisis actually, not slowdown, crisis. Um, and also uh, suggesting it was actually welcome news uh, that, you know, the Aussie was lower, does help uh, with the export prices. And also welcome news that housing prices has uh, started to mediate in some of our larger cities here. That is also in, uh, seen as a good thing. Uh, from the RBA because they were um, it's part of the normal cycle to have you know, some period of slowdown uh, pullbacks and that's that's relatively normal you know, and uh, takes a little bit of heat out of the out of the market as well uh, but definitely take away from that was there's no rush from the RBA to be raising rates they explicitly said that as well uh, and so we, we are looking for next year uh, later half of next year to be the first time they are raising rates so far uh, but that can change very quickly if uh, inflation picks up but that's the thing that has been missing uh, not just from Australia but globally uh, inflation has been subdued uh, regardless of the oil picking up uh, it's been very hard to get it back to that two to three percent band 
All right, guys. Uh, look, if you have uh, any chats, about, if you want to have a chat about any of the crosses, uh, do come through on the uh, contact lines below. If you are not a member of the Easy Markets Dealing Room and you want to have a chat with a dealer, uh, you can get free access to a dealer by signing up uh, yeah, on the link below. Thank you.